In scene three of A Streetcar Named Desire, in the Kowalski kitchen, Stanley plays poker with his buddies, mm. Mitch, Steve, and Pablo. An ill-tempered Stanley hates losing, which is exactly what's happening. When Mitch expresses concern for his sick mother, Stanley tells him to go home. Stella and Blanche arrive and are surprised to see the men still playing poker. Stella asks Stanley to call it quits, but he wants to keep playing. In the bedroom, Blanche tells Stella that Mitch seems superior to the other men. Stella tells her sister that Mitch is single, but Stanley demands the sister stop talking, even ordering Blanche to turn off the radio when she puts on some music. When she doesn't, Stanley angrily storms into the bedroom and shuts it off himself. Mitch goes into the bedroom and shows Blanche his silver cigarette case with a poetry inscription, a verse by one of her favorite poets, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. A girl, who is now dead, gave the case to Mitch. Blanche and Mitch talk about how sorrow makes people sincere. She asks Mitch to place a paper lantern over the bare light bulb to soften the light's glare, which he does. When Blanche turns on the radio again, Stanley storms into the bedroom and hurls it out the window. <gasps> Stella yells at Stanley, calling him an animal thing. Stanley goes after her, and the sound of him striking her is heard. Steve and Pablo grab an out-of-control Stanley. Stella says, I want to go away. Blanche grabs some of her sister's clothes and leads Stella up to Eunice's second-floor apartment. Steve and Pablo take Stanley into the bathroom and put him in the shower, and then leave. Stanley bursts out of the bathroom, dripping wet. He yells and sobs for Stella. He heads outside and repeatedly shouts, Stella, Stella. Eunice yells that Stella isn't coming down and says, you can't beat on a woman and then call her back. Stanley keeps shouting Stella's name. Stella comes down the stairs, her eyes wet with tears. Stanley kneels before her and presses his face to her belly. She tenderly raises him up. Stanley lifts his wife and carries her into their apartment to make love. Blanche, upset by the violence, comes downstairs, fearfully looking for her sister. Mitch tells her that Stella went back to her husband and offers Blanche a cigarette. Hmm. Blanche thanks him for being so kind. Hot-headed Stanley's desires can turn on a dime. After he attacks Stella, he begs her to return to him, shouting her name in agony and remorse in a famous scene, then takes her to bed. Stanley's intense sexuality is connected with violence. Stanley and Stella are caught in a destructive, self-perpetuating cycle of sexual desire and violence. Mitch infers that this is not the first time Stanley has beaten Stella and she's returned to him. Light here is a symbol of truth versus illusion. For example, Blanche doesn't like the harsh glare of a naked light bulb, a symbol of her resistance to exposing hmm. ugly truths. In contrast, Stanley and his friends play poker in a harsh light that represents Stanley's belief in brutal honesty.